Welcome to the Depot Sports Notebook, your daily WVU sports roundup at thedepost.com. NECA and Impali had 11 points and 12 rebounds, and number three Texas stayed unbeaten with a tough 61-55 women's basketball win against WVU on Wednesday. The Longhorns are off to their best start since the 1985-1986 team went undefeated and won the school's lone national championship. Four other players scored at least eight points for the Longhorns, who had a 14-point lead cut to four and had to withstand a second-half burst from Bria Holmes, the preseason Big 12 Player of the Year. Holmes, a junior guard, scored 22 for WVU. With her bucket at the 1450 mark in the second half, Holmes became the 31st WVU player to reach 1,000 career points. She now has 1,010 points. Avery Fields had her 14th consecutive game in double figures, notching 12 points and shooting 60% from the field. Freshman Tiana Muldrow tallied 10 points to round out double-figure scorers. Just minutes after the WVU men's basketball team walked off the floor victorious against Texas Tech, head coach Bob Huggins was already being reminded of the Mountaineers' upcoming challenge. Can I just enjoy this, Huggins asked? That's life in the Big 12 these days. With the league's non-conference season nearly complete, Big 12 teams finished with an 82.5 winning percentage. No other conference was better than 80. The Big 12 is the number one league in the country, according to the RPI, with seven of its ten teams ranked in the top 100. That also means league teams will eventually hit portions of their conference schedule that look more like running a gauntlet than playing basketball games. The 14th ranked Mountaineers are about to hit theirs. It's a gauntlet that includes three straight games against nationally ranked teams. Number 17 Iowa State on Saturday, number 16 Oklahoma on January 13th, and then number 10 Texas on January 17th. David Carpenter won't soon forget New Year's Day 2015. The former East Fairmont High and WVU basketball star was enjoying his holiday back home in Fairmont when the phone rang. Atlanta Braves assistant general manager John Coppolella told Carpenter the Braves had traded him and left-handed pitcher Chasen Shreve to the New York Yankees for lefty Manning Benuelos. It really came out of nowhere, said Carpenter, a right-handed reliever who spent the past two seasons with the Braves. I was really, really shocked by it. It's kind of one of those things where the Braves are making some moves right now and gearing up toward the future in the next couple of years, whenever that new stadium opens up. Carpenter, 29, is no stranger to trades. He's been traded four times and picked up on waivers once since entering pro ball as a 12th round draft pick of the St. Louis Cardinals in 2006. The Yankees are Carpenter's sixth organization. He's been with St. Louis, Houston, Toronto, Boston, Atlanta, and now New York. It's a great opportunity to go to New York, the most storied franchise in all of Major League Baseball, he said.